Hey, I'm Michael Carbonaro, and you are watching the After Effects. Thank you for watching our premiere episode of the brand new season, sort of, order, right? Second half of season four. I am wearing a Michael Carbonaro Carbonaro Effect Crew shirt, and your jealousy level is at an all-time medium. All right, I'm gonna answer some fan questions, so here we go. Uh, can you tell us about a time that someone didn't react well to a trick this season? What a nice kickoff, thanks, George. <laughs> tell us about a bad relationship. Um, the big deal in this episode, The Mermaid, which was so awesome, and uh, this guy like totally just bought it as like, instead of being like, oh my gosh, she's a mermaid, or like this girl did in the episode where she was just screaming and going crazy. Oh my God! Oh my this guy was just sort of like, oh, yeah, she's a mermaid, huh. We'll probably show him in one of the double take specials, but it was just sort of like, oh my gosh, come on, there's a mermaid here. So we were really happy when we got some crazy stuff out of the girl that made it to the show. She's my God. a mermaid! You're a mermaid! <laughs> Did you see that? Jenna is asking, how often do animals like the bat mess up the illusions? Oh my God, is that a bat? Oh, it's a bat. Is that real? That's a, yeah, I, yeah. This happens on these routers. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah. It's okay. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Animals are, you know, unpredictable. I got bitten by that bat while I was rehearsing with it. So I may very well turn into a vampire before the next season. Haley writes in, this episode you did a trick with a mermaid. People are loving the mermaid. It's the mermaid after effects. Um, did you believe in mermaids as a kid? I still believe in mermaids now. What's your problem? They're real, okay? Tune in or get out. Um, Frank asks, how old are you and when is your birthday? I am turning 165 this year and my birthday is April 28th. Thank you for your question. I am a vampire. <laughs> that was supposed to be a bat. Johnny asks, the DMV is never fun. How did you convince them to make it fun? We've picked a riveting, exciting location to perform magic. We're here at the Department of Motor Vehicles. You know, I don't, the DMV really, it doesn't bring a lot of smiles, does it? Um, and we thought, wouldn't it be fun to bring some smiles and some magic to uh, the Department of Motor Vehicles? We were so excited to get to do this, but we had to do it on an off day and get like friends of friends to send people in with different tasks in order to pull off those tricks. and. Uh, I think we did get a lot of smiles in that DMV. Like that one dude with the license plate. I loved his face. He said that we can like warm it up and then get it. Are they moving at all? Hey, let me try this. There you go. <laughs> Fun at the DMV, who would have thought? Okay, Arizona writes in, have you ever made friends with people you trick? Each little trick is its own relationship. Um, have I ever, you know, been crushed by someone? Maybe, maybe? Won't mention who, but like, no. Uh, no, I've never like had a long friendship relationship with anybody that's, that's uh, been tricked on the show, but I'm open to it. Find me on Twitter and write in and we can be friends. Let's go, if you've been fooled on the show, I need some more friends, so please write in. Uh, those were great questions, guys. Thanks so much. So uh, if you want to ask me anything, you can uh, write into hashtag AskMichaelCarbonaro, and that is on Twitter or Facebook, or you know, put it in a bottle and throw it in the ocean. Maybe a mermaid will deliver it to me. See you next time. Bye.